On to our other story now. Despite the GST rate cut on restaurants, post the GST Council decided to cut taxes on restaurants from 18% to 5%. The restaurants have failed to pass on the benefits to their customers as they've raised the prices for food. Top fast food jo uh, joints like McDonald's and Starbucks have said that the government has brought down GST from 18% to 5%, but there's been a removal of input tax credit. However, we also saw that standalone restaurants, on the other hand, have managed to pass on the benefit to the customer. The restaurant industry will not get the benefit of the ITC. And the rate will be for all restaurants, AC, non-AC, irrespective of turnover, जो टैक्स कस्टमर पे पड़ेगा जीएसटी का वो पांच परसेंट रहेगा एन अनाउंसमेंट फ्रॉम द जीएसटी काउंसिल वेलकम बाय फूड इज अक्रॉस इंडिया द नेशन बिलीव ईटिंग आउट एंड पार्टी विल बी चीपर फ्रॉम फिफ्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर बट नथिंग हैज चेंज डिस्पाइट जीएसटी बींग स्लैश फ्रॉम एटीन टू फाइव परसेंट a week ago when the gst rate was 18% the uh, price of a uh, large fries uh, was 81 rupees that price has now changed to 91 rupees after the gst rate was slashed uh, to 5% uh, customers of course are ending up paying the same amount uh, mcdonalds has also put out an official reply on twitter saying that they've done this because the input tax credit has been removed citizens on the other hand are miffed that despite the big tax cut prices are unchanged at restaurants across india sometimes it happens that why to go starbucks or why to go mcdonalds because of the gst i think at the end of the day the customer is suffering because uh, the, the companies are kind of keeping the prices as constant or the base prices increase honestly they are raising their basic prices that's that's very unethical on their part because you no know, you've been charging extra unnecessarily As the debate over costly khana takes center stage, Mirror now asks, despite GST being slashed on eating out, who is the villain responsible for customers still having to shell out more? Mirror now report.